Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris from GM Games. I am going to bring you guys today a representation of the new Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2021. It's first access and just came out. I just want to talk about it a little bit and uh, show you guys what have, has come out. Uh, I've been working personally with uh, someone named Slybell, who's made an amazing mod. What you're looking at today is a mod that has uh, all the representations of the logos, the team names changed, as well as also the photo pack that GM Games has put together, which is exactly what you're seeing here for all the photos. And so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the changes that have come into the new version. And what you're looking at here right now is this new dashboard. And, you know, a few weeks back, uh, chatting with the uh, maker of the game, Gary Gorski, uh, we wanted to think about how this could be maybe modernized uh, in terms of look, uh, modern UI feel and whatnot. So some of those changes were about aligning the color schematic to the team colors. Uh, some of the colors like browns and other ones were coming into the pie charts to look a little foreign to the screen. And in addition to this, also bringing in these modern player cards that you now see. So uh, you see everyone that's up here. And this is the uh, Raptors from the prior roster update. So this is not the one that you get with the game when it starts. But uh, this is an old save I have from the alpha version of testing. So just want to uh, show you guys how cool some of this stuff looks. And... At the moment, as you can see, uh, I'm using the Toronto Raptors, but you essentially have new menus on the left. So now the team navigation has all the choices instead of the top on the left-hand side. This is similar to the Pro Football 2021 version. Uh, you'll see all this stuff here. It allows you quick access to get to where you need to go. Now, if you wanna go check out some of the other teams and rosters, all the choices are here on the left-hand side. It allows you for, let's say, let's take a look at, uh, you know, Zion in, in New Orleans, for example. We can see what their squad's like. Um, and now what's really cool about this as well is there's uh, a way to look at these player cards. But just before I get into that, I want to say that there's a couple of ways to look at the screen. Uh, one of them is I asked Gary, I know in fictional, the last names really don't allow you to quickly jump to go look at, let's say, uh, who the best player is um right away or the names are pretty random so you don't know uh if the best players let's say with um you know the last name w or whatever like williamson here pro roster obviously if you're looking for someone you can immediately go eye track to that location but what you can do now is if you come and take a look over here in the options uh you'll see show dashboard by last name you can flick that off when you come back to the other screen uh, I think that's done right through this way is now it's more positional. So if you want to see your traditional kind of like the old college basketball 20 list was top to bottom by position. So you could see your point guards, your, um, your, your wings and your bigs uh, from top to bottom. This is kind of the same idea. Looks like Zion's listed as a power forward there. So you'll see him towards the end anyway. But yeah, so that's an, a sense of this dashboard that comes in and uh, I've only played a couple games so far. Now, if we want to check out these cards, these are really cool. Uh, so this is kind of brand new. So this all works now in conjunction with the icon, sorry, the logo pack from Slybell, which is behind the player photography. The player photography here is uh, representations that we have, I've taken either from like NBA.com or ESPN and essentially there's about 640 plus players all the decent ones uh, not the whole G League that would just take way too much but as you can see you get that kind of feel for modern user interface representations uh, he's having a, a slow start to the year six points a game but what we're seeing here as well is some changes in the presentation for the ratings rather than all 
bar charts going horizontally, uh, you now kind of get a little bit of an area color coding as well that shows exactly which particular attributes they're doing really well at and some player types here. Uh, maybe Zion's not the best, let's say, representation for, for ratings right now. Uh, but let's take a look at some of these other players. Let's go to like, let's say LeBron, All right? So let's check the Lakers out. Congratulations on the championship. The Heat put up a decent fight, not to get swept, but they won a couple games and Miami's actually looking pretty good in the new three point shooting uh, style of the NBA. So, you know, LeBron, whatever, but I think pretty sure this guy was pretty key in terms of winning it. So Anthony Davis here, as you can see, here's his representation. He's got this new particular player type. Uh, they don't add any extra boosting, but it does give you a sense of, all right, here's a guy who can score. So high scoring, right away, bucket getter. So, you know, you're getting your 20 plus points a game, obviously. So this is really cool. This looks, this looks awesome. Um, but, you know, besides the visuals, Simulation games are a lot about what's under the hood and getting a bit of a sense of the uh, the game itself and simulating, but it really is starting to look nice. And so it's always looked pretty good, but right now it's really starting to come together. Uh, they kind of feel like, you know, 2020 versions of dashboards, UI and whatnot. Um, what I want to show as well is just how cool this 2D is looking. Cause one of the big leaps that football manager took was I mean, prior to the little 3D graphics that go around right now, was their 2D mode, how over time it just consistently looked better and better with the players on the screen and, and getting that feel. So if you're if you're in a tight game, so let's take a look, let's say right now at the Raptors at the lake. I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna do AI, mostly because uh, I do general managing. So I'm not into the coaching part just at the moment. So let's have a look. You got this new starting lineup. This is these new player photos that are a bit more wide. So now the aspect ratio is a little bit different than just having those square portraits. I mean, those portraits that are old from like basketball reference, football reference and stuff like that. But now you have this beautiful photography that comes through and it looks pretty good with the fictional players as well. Um, so let's just go right to the tip off. And yeah, so now we're in the 2D. What you have on here are the courts from the GM Games Pro Photo Pack. You have the logos here from the Sly Bell NBA Team Mod. So in conjunction, you can get this look, which is these two things. Uh, they work pretty symbiotically. You need both to kind of get that. And some of the older jerseys as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the time. I'm going to not have this stop at all. And we're going to just like play through a bit just to give you guys a sense of how the 2D works. So this is awesome. There is audio right now, but uh, you may not hear that or you, mostly because I am playing on a Mac and playing on a Mac has to work through VMware Fusion. I'm running Windows 10 on that. And so it is possible to play these PC games on Mac, but it is a Windows PC on my Mac. So that is the reason why it's uh, working that way. All right, so what you can see now is there's this new game log at the bottom uh it represents more of the game cast you've seen like on espn and with that in mind it actually has the bolding that comes through so you see the key plays like a score um and each time they score a layup you see the assist as well so that's kind of very familiar to people that watch game casts on espn when you're not actually able to see the game at any time so yeah, um, there's a certain speed that's going right now. So these guys are whipping around the court, but you can really see what's happening. Uh, super cool. There's also this kind of fast forward function. So if we want to get into the third quarter halftime, we'll just push this along. But the presentation looks um, looks really good. It's really, really good. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely moving towards exactly what someone would want. I mean, if you don't have a 3D representation, how much better can you make 2D mode? And this is really starting to give you that uh, feel. You see the play-by-play, -play, which is common to Football Manager at the bottom. I think in Football Manager, what you see is sometimes the color coordinating of that to the uh, home team colors. It's in gray right now, but you know that's kind of what's there. And so that gives you a sense of the 2D mode. There are some new uh, Easter eggs that kind of come up at times. Like, so some players that get a triple-double 
a TV broadcast presentation comes in and then that will kind of come up here on the left or on the right. So that's all really cool, but let's keep moving along and show what other stuff is new in the game. So I'm going to exit out of that. Come back in over here and let's take a look at things. I think trading is another big one. And let's see what we can do with the uh, trade market here. So I think what's really cool about this is how much it's improved in terms of being able to get an offer, seeing if you can get something for your players. Uh, Marcus Saul's contract is a bit of an albatross, so I'm not really sure we'll get anything for him. But we can try going around the league, uh, seeing if anyone will, will take a big. See if we can get Valanchunas back. Uh, but, you know, Raptors won a ring, so no big deal there, right? Okay, so let's see, like the old days, see if we can make it happen again. Uh, so cap is definitely not going to work. There's a, We have to take on some garbage. Maybe Tyce Jones. The advantage is to me that the Raptors, so it's going to most likely get rejected. And I'm getting dissed because it's not a real offer. But this is the way you do trades. What you can do is try to see if they want it. No offer at this time. Uh, so yeah, you can go through the workflow and see if anyone wants Marcus Gasol. I'm pretty sure I'll be here all day, all night. He's getting old. Oh, well, if we throw in a second, second we can take on Ubre's contract, Aaron Baines. Uh, there's got to be something here. Maybe the contracts are pretty long. 15 years, two years left. Uh, they want to get out of that contract, it looks like. So, yeah, for example, we could make a trade like that, see it go down. The advantage is still to us. Uh, they do get Marcus All, but they also get out of that cap space. So, there you go. Suns are in trouble. 0-5. Uh, the draft pick's probably worth a ton. I know that Gary, the creator of this game, has said that it's much, much harder to kind of stockpile picks and gradually, let's say, improve offers by adding a couple seconds for a late first, get a late first, keep doing that, add players, get another late first, take two late first, get a mid first, maybe keep accumulating until you get that mid first to like a top 10 pick. So you've literally gone from some second rounders to other players and that just uh, doesn't happen anymore. So the AI is much improved in this game. Uh, also, let's just go through some fast simming so you can see what's happening. We'll go to the all-star break. Uh, I'll say to stop on an injury, but you can get a sense of what's happening. So the red shows at the bottom right, these toasters come up. This is pretty new. And, uh, you know, we're watching it through some of the games. Uh, we won at Portland, so we got a green toaster at the bottom right. Uh, it's showing some milestones. Triple doubles are going on on the right-hand side. Uh, we're seeing the you know, Clippers win. Kawhi is going off. You can kind of get a quick glimpse of what's happening around the league. You see LeBron and Anthony Davis going off. Cousins is there. Um, the newest roster update basically takes a lot of these players off their teams. So you can start right from the draft, which is coming soon. And the draft class looks really good with this mod as well. So... I'm just going to stop the game here. That was a sense of the fast sim as you move along. I think we've probably progressed a few days. Uh, the game moves really quickly uh, on my machine. It is a pretty quick MacBook Pro, but it does seem to be working quite well. In addition to that, let's take a look at scouting for the draft. All right, so these are the old guys. So what I actually will do is I'll go into a different save to show you just how cool all the new stuff is um, and so that is in this save called Raptors prime time this is the first access build we can come back and take a look all right so this is the the Raptors lineup Fred Van Fleet's not signed yet so that's kind of in discussion right now so you're kind of beginning with really what the cap friendly cap geek website saying this is exactly how it is in real life so that's Pretty cool. You can handle the offseason exactly the same way. And every player photo is there again, so which is that's cool. Um, I'm going to go take a look at the draft class and show you guys that really quickly. And we're scouting for it. So at the moment, all these guys have, have now been put in. So if you go through with the arrows, you can go. I have no scouting, so all these players look amazing. A's. They're all going to go off for perfect stats, I guess. Who knows? But as you can see, all the Euros are in here. This guy's an Argentinian, so he's not a Euro. But um, you know, Vernon Carey Jr., some other guys, Anthony Edwards. The you know, pretty much what everyone thinks is going to be the number one pick. He's there. 
We got Louisville representing for cards, who's uh, an awesome streamer on, on the GM Games channel. Uh, here's a guy that I saw live last year. San Diego State played in a tournament in Vegas, and they played Iowa in the final. And uh, San Diego State did really well uh, and won that tournament. So very cool to see these guys show up. And you'll see their pictures show up over time when you draft them. But every single player is here. Now, because you're in the offseason, there is a coach hiring process and the NBA right now kind of has a lot of coaches that are needing to be filled. But what you can also see is part of the GM Games Pro Photo Pack and the mods. I'm going to list the links in the video itself, sorry, the, the description at the bottom so you can get a sense of that. But here, if we go into the top coaches for strategy, you can you know bring in Phil Jackson. You can get into more details on his card. Uh, so that looks really cool. Um, some other players that I would represent, coaches, sorry, I would represent would be you know, Sam Mitchell from back in the day. This guy's an ex-coach of the year, ex-Raptor coach. There you go. He's ready to be had by somebody. Should you pay six mil a year over four years? And uh, yeah, so then you get a sense of the off season. So this is all looking really cool. I am not too familiar with all the significant changes around um, some of the aspects of the analytics that come into the game. That kind of stuff does show up here on different screens. We're looking at a pretty similar uh, mate, sort of AI suggest for the depth charts, the matrix for how many minutes everyone gets over here. But here's a representation of that um, with the smaller lineup right now. It's a little early to do that. But let's go around. I'm going to show some screens just so people can get a sense of the game. So there's a media screen. This media screen has a magazine. The magazine, the draft guide, I guess that's not really uh, happening just yet. None of this stuff is active. There's no stats to be shown. My last league would have that. Standings, no games have been played. Transactions, it would tell you in some way, maybe from the end of the year. Here's last year's win totals. So the Bucks, see that up there. Um, let's take a look at Giannis to see when he frees up because that's someone that we definitely want to chase in the offseason. So, yeah, there's that last year of the contract. Be interesting to see if the game keeps Giannis in Milwaukee. Bucks fans, I hope you you guys can hang on to your stars. It's always a little bit, you know, not good when they go away, a la Kawhi in Toronto. But, you know, it happens. What goes around comes around so that's just how it goes all right and so for other parts of the screens let's take a look at uh, milestones which is a new one and this is really cool because i mean here's the career historic stats for a lot of players vince carter did retire he's still here it's available maybe uh close out the season the career with the wraps um okay other screens just to go through just in case you guys are curious. These are, again, what used to be on the left-hand side. So scouting, trading, searching players, key dates. That's to help you out. Um, mostly, I guess, all-star break, maybe free agency signing. But that's all helpful. Phoning your players. Uh, if they're just being troublemakers or whatever, that's all still there. Well, let's get out of that screen. Okay, we got the inbox. That's going to be valuable. It's going to have your indicator to show new stuff. There's nothing for you to do. Your office in terms of job security, what's expected of you. Uh, job goal is pretty cool. It tells you which roster players to keep. So just continue to show what's in the game. We got the dashboard again. That's been shown a million times by me. Let's take a look at the staff screen. We have all these coaches, not all of them, but you know I am a Raptors homer. So you're going to see a full Raptors set. Uh, Bjorkgren went to Indiana as a head coach. That actually, that change has been made. That will be in the full version. Uh, that I heard from Gary, so look out for that and for Indiana's head coach. But yeah, let's take a look at another head coaching squad, sorry, staff. And there you go, you got Vogel, you got Kid, you got Hollins. Uh, Kid looks, his ratings look ready to go to be poached by another team to be a head coach. Phil Handy, very key to the Raptors run, actually working with players. Uh, more of a you know technical coach than someone who's uh, about strategy and plays, but someone who's very good at instructing mechanics in the game of basketball. So 
I had to, we had to get a photo of Phil Handy in there. So re respect to that dude. And uh, yeah, so you got the roster. I'm just going to go through these screens one more time for anyone who's considering getting the game. Uh, you, can, you can see who your top players who are best at scoring are. The overalls are there. Um, and that's the Lakers in this case. You can change to different teams. Let's take a look at that Miami team that just had a final. And uh, let's say some maybe some outside shooting. What do we got? We got Tyler Heroes uh, shooting really well. Duncan Robinson, yeah, you know, could be a little better from outside in this rating system, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can make some changes in the database if you're pretty familiar with that. Uh, if not, then you're just going to have to go to the forums and learn about it. And uh, contracts, obviously, in basketball, pro basketball, salary caps a huge implication. Uh, how much you're tied up for, for how, how long. And so taking a look at that. Um, let's see what else we have here. Depth chart we showed. Strategy, uh, I, I believe not much has changed. So if you're familiar with the old game, then you're probably pretty good at strategy. So that is not something that has changed fundamentally too much. So for leagues and competing against others, I understand that that's pretty similar. Um, so you'll be competing very much with the same tactics you normally would do. And what else do we have? We have insights now. This is something that's been pushed by Wolverine to show a lot of different stuff that's happening with the team. It's too early for that. You have your schedule and then you have your team history, which is great to see uh, some stuff as you go over the course of time. The other one that likes to get talked about is combining the draft day sports college basketball version into this one so that the players can show up in the draft class. So that's something else that's brand new in the game. But um, yeah, what I really wanted to do today was give you guys a representation of how the game looks. And that is the first look, first access video from GM Games. There will be more, way more, uh, in terms of Let's Plays from members of the GMG squad here who make a lot of awesome content. And we also have on the channel other baseball stuff. We have college basketball, we have pro football. College football is uh, something that we need to get into as well. So, um, you know, ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Our Discord has about 1,400 people. We also have, you know, obviously our main site is the Crown Jewel. All the, the database of games, all the user ratings, find out which is really good on a lot of different interfaces and platforms. Um, that's something that you'll want to take a look at for sure. And uh, if you're not familiar with our website, this is a representation of it here. You got the main site of GM Games and you have the ability to, to, to watch videos and all that kind of cool stuff. So yeah, uh, come on by. Thanks again for watching and I uh, really hope you enjoy the new Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 21. Um, hopefully there's some leagues. So if anyone's setting up some leagues, please come into our Discord and, and advertise those in our multiplayer channel. Okay, thanks again.